Well, it's exciting because it, we've been working on this movie all year long, and tonight we're uh, kicking off the press junket in Cabo, and it's pretty spectacular. You know, we realized when we sat down to figure out how we were going to do a second movie that the opportunity that we had left at the end of the first movie is that the game is broken. That means that when they go back, anything could have happened. And so I always thought of it like, you know, walls have been torn down inside Jumanji and suddenly we're going to be able to expand into entirely new parts of the world that we've never seen before. Uh, and in fact, the, it will even affect how the avatars manifest and who's playing what and how the, uh, you know, which, basically which characters everybody's playing. Something that we can do with these Jumanji movies that I think sort of no one else can do, which is you can bring the whole cast back together, but have everybody playing something different than what they were playing in the first movie. And we just felt like when we kind of zeroed in on that, we realized that there was just this sort of endless opportunity to, you know, refresh this idea and in fact have the adventure be entirely new again. So we got together and sort of had the conversation and I, I sort of had this thought that what I really wanted to see was some characters at a completely different point in their lives go on the same journey that the kids we had seen in the first movie go on. And that was sort of what led us to this idea of the characters that Danny and Danny play who um, find themselves sort of accidentally sucked into this game and put on this adventure uh, that, you know, they maybe didn't realize they need to go on. Mm -hmm. I've worked on uh, a lot of television and I've worked on movies of all different kind of shapes and sizes now. And I can say these Jumanji movies are really built to be watched in a movie theater. And it's something that we think about and talk about all the time in terms of the scale and the, you know, the sequences, the action, the stunts, the sound of it, the music, the animals, it's all sort of built to be taken in on a 40-foot screen. And, um, you know, you can watch it other ways later in its life, but the very best way to see this movie is without a doubt with a big group of people, hopefully with people you love, in a movie theater. And we, uh, we build it that way from, from, the, from the jump. We're going to see many different environments. So we start off in the jungle, but then we venture to other levels and it's all brand new. We end up in the desert and we have to ride some camels and we end up actually on snow capped mountains, um, which is a complete, that's like the antithesis of where we started in the jungle. It's just so different. And we get some new outfits for the winter weather, which I'm excited about. If I'm being totally honest, like we don't really even, it doesn't really shift from before action and after someone shouted action. Like it's pretty consistent. Like even doing interviews, it's so funny because we don't even notice when the cameras have started rolling. Like these guys are so funny and they relentlessly make fun of me in the best possible way and kind of like a brotherly, I don't have any brothers, but now I know what it feels like to have them. Um, and it's just so much fun. This is the most fun job ever. So, yes, Aquafina we have, who is, I'm, I'm such a fan of her. She's so brilliantly funny. I've watched her videos on YouTube and her other performances, and she is, I mean, just comedic gold. And so we really needed basically another female in the movie who, who could really, like, deliver on that front. Um, and she more than does that. She's a perfect addition to this core cast. Um, and I'm just excited to have another girl around. <laughs> um, and then the two Dannys, I mean, what legends. They're so amazing. And, and we're all just sort of in awe of them when they're on set. It's like, oh, the Dannys are here. <laughs> like, we need to be on our best behavior and learn something from them. <laughs> Audiences can look forward to brand new characters. Um, we have brand new players. We have two old men trapped in a video game, which is just so funny. Um, we've got Fridge trapped in Jack's body now, so he's just flailing around dealing with that. And because I'm the only original player in their original avatar, I kind of have to step up and be the leader of the gang. And so we see Martha, this shy girl from the last movie, completely leading the charge, which is, um, which is really cool compared to how she started off. So we are in Cabo for the press junket uh, for Jumanji The Next Level. Um, we showed the movie for the first time here, 
and uh, we are, this is the beginning of the launch of the movie to the whole world, and um, we're incredibly excited. It's been a long road and also an incredibly short road. You know, we, we made this movie um, and we, we, I think, blew it out. You know, we, the, the, the marching orders to ourselves, the challenge was to take a movie that we loved and that audiences really responded to and seemed to love and, and to, to capture that again but to but to but to do it on a, on an even bigger level, um, and and we didn't have a ton of time, um, but we had the greatest writer and director um, out there, which is Jake Kasdan as our leader and the greatest cast in the world, and because we had a familiarity with with each other and we'd done this before, um, I think we were able to sort of get it done, and uh, and here we are, which is amazing, and just super excited to put this movie in the world and make people smile at Christmas. All of the, the action is bigger. The set pieces are bigger. You know, the, the thing that happened at the end of the first movie is that, is, is that in, in the very end, um, the kids broke the game. Because why wouldn't you? You know, let's not, ha let's not relive that. Um, the game, for, a, lot, for a, 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 a certain reason that's in the movie, um, comes back. And, but it's broken. And so what that gave us was license to do things that were unpredictable, which make the movie more dangerous and make the, the set pieces more dangerous and make the stakes higher for the characters. So we were able to, able to sort of elevate everything and at the same time, tell a really emotional story about these characters and, and also make it funny. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a comedy. It's a big action adventure comedy. Um, and so all of that is, is sort of the DNA of Jumanji. Um, and hopefully we, uh, we gave people everything that they loved before and then some. Being on the set of Jumanji is, it's, listen, it's hard. Making movies is hard. The weather is challenging. The daylight when you're outside, it's all, it comes with a lot of challenges. But the spirit and the camaraderie among all of us, in front of the camera and behind the camera, is so positive that um, you know it's 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 a dream to work on a movie like this. And and they're not all like this, um, but this this is a group of people that love what they do and love working together. So and I think that translates. I actually do believe that you can feel that in the DNA of these movies. You know that people are having a really good time working on them. I mean, I think you can expect everything that you loved about Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle and a whole lot more. I mean, we have, you know, we added incredibly iconic characters to the mix. So Danny DeVito and Danny Glover and Aquafina, um, And it's all of that crazy idea of the first movie, but kind of turned on its head. You know, we have a reason to be here. We're telling a really great story. Um, and just when you thought you sort of understood what Jumanji was about and how you had to survive it. Um, we're going to come along with a movie that tells you you have no idea what you're in for. And uh, it's just, it, to me, it is what great family movie making is about. Um, and it's what, you know, I want to do with my holiday with my family is go to a movie and just be transported. So hopefully that's what we're going to give you. It does feel to me like we have a magical chemistry. I love my castmates. I consider them good friends. And I think that's important. Um, I think that translates to good chemistry on screen as well. You know what it's all about with Jumanji? It's about big laughs and big action. And I think we brought it even more intensely this time than last time funnier bits and incredibly big action sequences. We got some scary, good special effects and like action with mandrels. These are man-eating monkeys. We got killer ostriches. Man-eating ostriches. <laughs> good times, man. And Danny DeVito and Danny Glover kicking out the jams. And don't forget about Aquafina. So funny and awesome. We got an incredible cast. Come check it out.
We are in Cabo, Mexico uh, at the International Jumanji Junket. Years in the making, huge production scale, blood, sweat and tears, and a lot of laughs. And we're finally here and couldn't be more excited to finally be able to bring Jumanji to the next level. To all the world and to all these wonderful fans and press, it's awesome. When you're lucky enough to have a movie like the first Jumanji um, that was received so well, now it's on us to go and make sure we make a worthy sequel. And that's a testament to Jake where uh, he just was able to create a story that raised the levels, but it truly felt needed to be told. Um, and so here we are with, you know, we build off the first one. The game's now broken and everything's bigger and everything's much more challenging and all our avatars are in much more danger. So whereas in the first movie we were just in the jungle, we're in snow-capped mountains here, we're in the desert, uh, you name it, our guys are in it and they're dealing with mandrels, they're dealing with killer ostriches all kinds of threats and ultimately the stakes are so high and the challenges are so rough that there's not a guarantee that everyone's going to make it back and I think this is one of those movies that you're going to find, you're going to laugh, you're going to be scared and you may shed a tear as well. We, uh, we really are really proud of what we made and we think fans are going to really love it. But the joy of going a second time around is the chemistry and the camaraderie between the filmmakers and the cast. It's, it's on a whole new level now. So it's like where the first movie you have actors that are meeting each other for the first time, filmmakers. Now there's a shorthand and there's a relationship that really translates on the screen. And the truth is, is, you know, on the filmmaker side, we've all been fortunate enough to make several films. But there's never, I've never been a part of a cast that is as close and as friendly. I mean, all these guys are really close friends and they're all good people. And that is something that... You may not even have to talk about, but you can just pick it up in the films and in the scenes with each other. Everyone loves each other. Everyone cares about each other. And unfortunately, Hollywood's not always like that. So anytime you do get an opportunity like that, this is truly a family, and it's a privilege to produce a movie like this and to have these kinds of filmmakers and actors with you, and I think it really shows on screen. What happened with Welcome to the Jungle was thrilling and surprising and kind of uh, the phrase is overused but it was a dream come true I mean it's it's not something that we um, that you have any right to even admit to hope for and you sit there in a in dark rooms finishing up the movie for a long time and you, you know you 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 go out into these places and you you have these glimpses where you think like maybe people will love this god i hope so but you don't know what's going to happen and the uh what happened with welcome to the jungle was incredible you know i think that we knew when we returned to this that if we were going to do it again we had to expand on what we were doing and in, in big ways in ways you could really see immediately and uh, part of that had to do with changing what everybody's doing. So we have the same great cast back, and even the same characters back, but everybody's sort of doing something different, and there are more people, and we're including more characters. It was also really important to us that we expand the world physically, that we not live entirely in the jungle with these movies all the time. And so the landscape has expanded, and in uh, important ways and you know uh, uh, in, in w w it provides all kinds of new opportunities for action and for animals and for sort of the visual effects part of it because we spend part of the movie in the desert we spend part of the movie in the jungle we spend part of the movie in the snowy mountains and all of those places come with you know different textures and different kind of excitement to them uh, lessons that the game gives you, the, the sort of uh, what happens when you win the game and what you're left with. Uh, those are things that we all need to work all the time to hang on to. <laughs> and, you know, we, we said from the beginning, you know, the game doesn't stay won. And in that way, uh, it's a lot like life, right? You, trying to figure out who you are and how to be your best self and what you want to do with your one life. These are all things that we're trying to figure out forever. The cast from the original movie is brilliant. 
and the one of the big motivating reasons to come back to this is to get those people together to change what they're doing and explore their multitude talents and abilities and all the different ways that they're so funny um but also part of what that meant is that we would be expanding the world and the real world cast um would grow right and so the the big idea of bringing in these two gentlemen at a completely different stage in their life than the kids that are the center of the first movie uh that was kind of for me the electrifying idea that got me really excited about this and when we started talking about who that should be the very first names that came to mind were Danny DeVito and Danny Glover who are both these sort of um singular legendary kind of movie stars who both loom very large for me those are guys that I have been among my favorites for as long as I can remember really forever you know um and it was a lucky thing that I went and tracked both of them down and they both sort of hopped right in you know Aquafina was our first sort of really exciting big idea about how to do that working with her has been uh really wonderful i could not be a bigger fan she is as funny as they come she's a great actress she's game for anything um i sat down with her before i'd even finished the script and i said so this is what happens in this movie and she said i'm in man let's go Roy McCann is another one of these just like singular kind of presence, you know. Um he's he's brilliant. Uh I had watched him on Game of Thrones like everybody else and I was a huge fan and uh I tracked him down wherever he was. He's a he's a traveling mountain man who uh you know kind of he he's an actual adventurer, Roy. So when you want him, you got to uh, send out a send out the coast guard looking for him but we found him and i was able to convince him to come do this and i just think he's absolutely brilliant they're they're uh rowdy and they're uh energized but they are the hardest working funniest group of people and like you know we could be we've been all over the place together now and you're standing up there on a mountain in Canada and it's freezing cold and they're in those costumes and stuff and they just they stand there and they deliver at such an incredibly high level every single time. It's always been uh, central to me that it's it, movies got to be funny first and foremost. The action has to be legit really real action, good action. We're not going to do comedy action. We're really going to make it like an action movie in the parts of it that are an action movie. And just as important in both of those things, there's this sort of human core to it, which is that we're trying to tell stories about these these characters that we love and do it in an honest way that that has a lot of, you know, real sort of feeling to it. And um and all those things that sort of Fit together to to make up what these movies are.